Okay, we're in our forms workspace, which makes it easier for us over here. And we need to open up sign up HTML. Let's come down here. Now what we're looking for now is a checkbox. Checkboxes are probably the most commonly used fields in any kind of form. You have checkboxes. We're also going to talk about radio buttons too. But what I want is I want a set of check marks for a cooking style. Like do you prefer German cooking or Italian cooking or whatever? And I want to give them the ability to check which ones they like. But I want them also to be in this area right here. So instead of clicking down here, I want you to click to the right of our text area and press the enter key. That's the return key on a Macintosh. Come over here. You have a checkbox. In my opinion, there are not a lot of times where you would use a single checkbox, but that's what that is. We want a checkbox group, so we have more than one. Our cursor, of course, is over here. So go ahead and click that. Okay, let's call this Cooking Styles. Now, this is the group name for this group, and it's the name that the computer uses to kind of bring all of these checkboxes together. Let's go to this one right here. Let's say Italian. Let's take this one down here and say, uh, well, German. If we go, say, to another one and say, like, American, which is where I live. One more. And scroll down. Let's do British cooking. We can use, if we want to, these buttons to change where they are. If you want to put one a little bit higher, a little bit lower. You can check these buttons and change their order in the stack. We are going to use line breaks, not a table. And there's two reasons I want to do that. Number one, I really don't want to introduce a table for formatting if I don't have to. And number two, there's a thing about the line breaks I'm going to show you. Let's go ahead and click OK. There they are, Italian, American, German, and American. Wait a minute. Did I just say American twice? Yeah, I did. That's a mistake, isn't it? Now, how'd that happen? Because I was watching you when you made this. When you decide to add a field to the checkbox group and you use the stacking order buttons, which I showed you just before I clicked OK, if you don't set the text, like the word British, by pressing the tab key, oops, what's going to happen is it's going to make a copy of whatever you land on. So we've got two Americans here and we don't need them. Now, it would be very easy for me to press undo. And we use undo all the time, and there's nothing wrong with it. I wish life had an undo button. But what if you get beyond the point of undo? Well, for example, maybe you got it from somebody else. Nothing wrong with that. But what if you notice that mistake? Well, there's no undo to that. So my question would be, how do you change it? Or how do you add or even subtract to a group? Now, there's a unique process on doing that. There's one real important step here that if you do it, it'll work. If you don't, it won't. So I'll tell you what. Let's save this till the end. You hold me to it, and what we'll do is we'll look at how you make a change, add, subtract, or modify to a group, and do it correctly. Now, first things first. I don't want these vertical. I want them horizontal. But understand, there is no button in Dreamweaver to say, make them go left and right. So we have to do something. We have to dig into the code. Go into the split view, and they are right here. You can see them. What I need to do, it's very easy, get rid of the breaks right here, the BRs. Actually delete them out of the code. One more down here. Now when we go into design, there you go. Let me go ahead and click design view again so we can see that. And I like it better that way, so I'm happy. But we're not really identifying to the people what they're supposed to do here. So I'm going to make another field set but it's going to be inside of this field set. Remember, this is a field set about telling us about your cooking experience. This would still be a part of your cooking experience, so why not put it in a sub or a nest of this one? Select it. Click the good old field set button over here. How about something like this? What is your cooking style? Let's go ahead and go to Live View. There we go. Now remember, one of the biggest differences between radio buttons and check marks is that in check marks, you can click as many as you want. And with radio buttons, you only get to click one of them.
If you click another one, the other becomes unselected. Let's get out of live because we can't edit in live. How about making sure they know exactly what they're doing here and maybe put in on the end of here and you can do it. How about something like click all that apply. Let's look at it one more time. Yeah, there we go. What is your cooking style? Click all that apply. I can cook anything. Let's go ahead and get out of here on live view. Let's get back out of here. Let's talk about radio buttons. We missed something up in required information. Their gender, male or female. So let's actually go to the right of zip code, but let's put it on another line. So press the return key or the enter key in Windows, and let's come back up here and you have radio group. Click the button. We'll call this one gender. And, well, we only need two. So we'll come into this one and say this one is male. And this one is female. Again, we can go line breaks or table. I think I'm going to leave these up and down. So I'll just click OK. If I change my mind and I want them to go left or right, basically all I really have to do is take out that break, that BR statement. Now, I think this is pretty much self-explanatory. They need to check one or the other. And if we go into live on this, and one or the other is all you get. Now, let's get out of live. Now, I'm about to save this, but I'm hearing something. Andy, you can't save it yet. You said you'd demonstrate on how to fix that checkbox down there and change American to British. And actually, I did. So let's stop and do that. But then somebody else looks around and they see one more problem. I can't believe you don't have Spain as one of your choices. If you ever tasted my tapas or my paella, you got to have Spain there. And you don't have France. I mean, France is the birthplace of the culinary arts. You don't have France and you're a chef. How do you get rid of things you don't want or add things to a group to make the changes? Well, it's actually pretty easy. If we want to get rid of this one, just go ahead and delete it. Select it and delete it. But how do you add to an existing group? Well, the first thing you want to remember is the group has a name. We gave it a name. We need that exact name. If you click, say, on any one of these three buttons, you can see the name down here. It's Cooking Styles. I'm going to select all of that and do a Control-C copy. I don't want to take a chance of misspelling it. I'm going to go to the right of German, and then I'm going to go up to Checkbox Group. This is one way to do it. Control-V. Paste the exact name in. You need that. Now, as for checkbox, let's make British and let's make France. And Andy, there's one other thing. You're using a value of checkbox. That's not really going to work, is it? Now, I can see we can change these two, but we have other ones we need to change. We need to have American as American. In other words, the value needs to represent something for the label. You could have one, two, three, four, five if you wanted to. But then you'd have to know one's Italian, two's American, three's German, get it. We're going to go in here on this one, and we'll type in British, which means that's the value that's returned. And on this one, of course, France. If we click OK, we have that same problem with the break. So what we need to do is go into split view. And it's right here. And if we come, there it is right there, a BR statement. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. And now we got them in order. Let's go ahead and go back to design. But Andy, what about Italian, American, and German? They say checkbox, checkbox, checkbox. Can we fix those? Yeah. Click the little checkbox here. And you'll see it says right here, check value is checkbox. And of course, that needs to be German. And American needs to be American. And Italian needs to be Italian. Okay, so we've got those. I suppose while we're here, male needs to be male, not radio. And female, female. Okay, that just about does it, unless you find any other mistakes. I think we're doing all right right now. If we go live again, as you can see, there's that. There's the stuff down here. It's working. Now, let's get out of live. Let's save this guy. If you are going right on to the next lesson, you can leave it open. Just make sure you save it at this point. If not, you can close it like I'm going to do.
Thank you for your help in pointing out those problems. On to the next.